back on drugs and I'm better than ever. Yeah, yeah. It's the rock kingdom revival! I, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Drink it up! And then you can bring your spunky little fuck bunny up on the road with us and I can finish eating that chocolate bar out of her sweet little girly bits. Horns up, metalheads! Time for another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. How you doing, partner? I'm here. I'm right. Okay. We got a lot of new music on today's show. We do. Yeah. They sent us some new tunes. We got some new tunes. We'll hear new music from, from uh, Motorhead. Motor, really? You gotta like Motorhead. From Lemmy. That's right. Queens Reich. Nice. We'll also hear new music from uh, a band called Metal Allegiance. Oh yeah, who's that and who's all in that? Uh, Alex Skolnick. Uh, got Portnoy. Portnoy. Some yeah, a lot of. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah. Who's playing Mega bass Dad. on it? Uh, Dave Ellison. Dave Ellison. From, and then yeah. someone else probably too. But We've got new music from uh, Chris Caffrey. Oh, no kidding. We've also got new Bobaflex. And speaking of Bobaflex, they're going to be uh, our guest today, Marty McCoy. from. I was right. Sure. It was Marty McCoy. You sure? It's yeah. not, not Sean McCoy from I'm, Bobaflex? No, I'm positive. And then it's we've Bobaflex. also got uh, new music from Symphony X. I dig that tune too. Oh, sweet. Why don't we kick the show That's off of like that one? Some progressive stuff there yeah some great guitar playing man just smoking smoking Smoking, yeah smoking a pancake all right (laughs) i'd I'd rather smoke other things all right pancakes come on now we'll smoke something else maybe they make a blunt that's Ah. pancake flavored maple syrup or something you've been to jamaica did they do that no maybe you should go there and start your own rolling blunts with Pancakes. That's right. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know when if I retire. Be smoke very well, but tastes good. Might, yeah. All right, here's Weed pancakes. Let's there start our own franchise, yeah, like brownies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll be the the weed house That's instead of the waffle go. house. Start All your right. breakfast right. Start your day right. Let's get like the show bacon and bacon. What? Yeah, exactly. Let's start the show off. Uh, quit bullshitting here and uh, get to some Symphony X. The new song is called Nevermore. This is rock and metal revival on the air. Put on your tuxes, man.
Brandon from Crowbot, and you're tuning in to the Rock and Metal Revival. Yeah. I'm 
was home. What was home? The most primal of instincts is to stand, fight, or flee. At this time, I beseech you to make haste. Come with me. Approaching, encroaching. From the CD Seasons of Tragedy, there's Benedictum and Beast in the Field on Rock and Metal Revive. I really dug that CD. Oh, yeah. I like all of their CDs, I do. Man. I really Good dig stuff, Benedictum. Man. And uh, if you've been paying any attention to our Facebook, we have a concert announcement to make. We have a Facebook? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, wow. No shit. Hey, We're like so up on it. I didn't ever knew we had a website. So, I mean, here wow. we go. Man, I didn't um, know we was on the internet. <laughs> Friday night. October 16th, mark your calendars as the V. The V? Is coming to our hometown. Well, well, kind of close. Kind of uh, uh, close, yeah. To our area, to yeah. our backyard. Yeah, a few How's miles that? away. That's yeah. right. Uh, Veronica Freeman will be playing in Janesville, Wisconsin, uh, Friday night, October 16th, at a, at a local club called The Drunken Monkey. Perfect place. And get this, no cover. No cover? Yep. No kidding? Just a free show? Just yep. come and jack. No Come shit. on out. She'll have all of her uh, merch and everything there. And after the show, she'll be signing some autographs. No kidding. Uh, hopefully, uh, rumor has it that you and I will be there. Oh. And uh, I'm, I, I might be able to make the trip. I'm gonna, I'm checking into flights. Yeah, flights, flights and now. stuff. Yeah, and but, um, hotels and all that. Yeah, it's I a done deal. It and then uh, we are working on a show as we speak right now uh, for Saturday night and possibly Thursday night, the 15th in the Midwest. The V is coming out to rock your ass off. So if you're in the nice. area, nice. If you're in the area, to get your friends together because the monkey only holds about two hundred, maybe two fifty at the most. Yeah. So once it gets to capacity, you're done. The door is shut. So yeah. uh, if you want to come out, where I'm and also they won't let you out either. No, ever. So we're trying to uh, also get a in store. Uh, at the exclusive company here in Janesville. It's very um, exclusive. So that uh, you can come out and buy the V's uh, uh, solo album and uh, meet the V, and we'll do a meet and greet, some pictures, and she'll sign some uh, CDs for you. She'll sign your boobs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. So I'm pretty excited, <laughs> man, to see the That'd V. That would be cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, she's already talked about you paying some uh, cowbell. Oh, really? Yeah. I might be able to do that if the so, shoulders can hold out. Yeah. I'll have to... Go get some therapy on the shoulder, so I make sure I can beat it. Because yeah. I'm, you know, you've been beating it for a long time, dude. Your shoulders yeah. might be wore out. I know. That's what I'm thinking, man. I got so. I got cowbell shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think of that uh, new uh, Symphony X? I liked it, man. I always liked that freaking guitar player. Is great. Yeah, man. just 
cool music too, man. So check it out. The new Symphony X is is out, and uh, I'm kind of digging that. Also, uh, like I said earlier, we got uh, last week we played the new Jeff Tate. What'd you think of that? I thought it was okay. Uh, uh, it sounds dude more like the Queensryche of late Queensryche, where I didn't like it very much. Yeah, it it didn't like the Q, did, Y2 it or Q. Yeah, yeah, it sounded like the late like American. What was that American thing? That album, the American Soldier one. Yeah, it sounded yeah. It sounded like something off of there. You yeah. know, there wasn't. It, it, I didn't think he pushed his voice too know. hard on yeah, it though. Exactly. I he's, thought it was okay. He's not using the upper register like he. Used I don't think to, he though. has it. Yeah, that's so. true. So I guess he's just trying to. You know, do what he can, but yeah. you know, kind of like with Halford. Halford's not really using that upper register anymore either. No, not on the record, new recorded stuff, because then he'd have to try to do it live. Yeah, shit, he's got enough stuff way up there to have to try to try to sing live. There's a new Saxon album coming out real soon too, and a tour. Oh yeah, yeah. I know you're a big Saxon oh, cool. fan, so uh, I like. And their new stuff is good, yeah, man. Yeah, every album has been good. I've so been impressed. Uh, what do you say we uh, play something off that last album? Which one? Saxon? A sacrifice? Yeah, sure. from Saxon. And we'll also throw in that new Queen's Reich. And uh, coming up, we've got uh, News of the Weird. But right now, uh, from their last album, from- here, here is Saxon. This is called Stand Up and Fight on Rock and Metal Revival.
from Monster Truck and you're listening to Rock and Metal Revival. Do not fuck with the truck. CD Furiosity, there's Monster Truck and Old Train on Rock and Metal Revival. Man, I dug that album. I still listen to that a lot. It's groovy, man. It is. It's kind of hippie stoner rock, kind of like Crobot. Yeah. It's you know, got a same groove, yeah. man. Speaking they, of groove, man. I can play guitars, man. The other Take night, uh, Tuesday night, I went and saw Alice in Chains in yeah? at the rave. How was it? And, dude, it, you know you know how usually they throw a bunch of suck bands on before the headliner? Yeah. Not Alice in Chains, dude. But, no opening band. They just played tunes. Nine o'clock, they walked out and played for an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. And, I mean, and, he, and it's kind of funny. Jerry Cantrell says, okay, now this is the point in the show where we're supposed to run off the side and make you scream and yell, and then we piss, and then we come back out. Maybe after five minutes, you mm-hmm. hollering and screaming. Yeah. He goes, do you want me to do that, or do you want to just... Just add another song. Or do you just want me to keep yeah. playing? Nice. And everybody's like, ah, and they fucking played for like another 20 minutes, man. It nice. was fucking cool. And uh, they played all the hits, man, and they played their new stuff. And, uh, man, I can't believe the crowd that that band still draws. Yeah. A huge were they crowd. in the big, big? They were up in the Eagles. Yeah, oh, nice. The whole balcony was sold out, and uh, there wasn't much room on the floor either. Yeah. So uh, great show from Allison Chains. If you cool. get a chance to see him, go see him. 
All right, uh, getting to news of the weird. This one uh, is uh, kind of scary. A man accused of masturbating in driveway three times a week. This isn't in Beloit, is it? No. Yeah, they I, didn't catch me then. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve, Steve still got that knee problem. So yeah, he's probably yeah, he's not in. Well, he good. might. Yeah, it could have been him. Could have been. Could have been. Uh, third time is not a charm for this guy. Uh, there is, uh, if he's nothing, he's consistent. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, uh, Fifty-two-year-old man in Meltry, Louisiana, had accomplished a hat trick of sorts uh, by getting arrested. <laughs> uh, a little hockey reference yeah, there. I like that. Uh, nice writing, Jerry. Nice. nice uh, getting nice. arrested for public masturbation three times in one week. Nice. But Greg, I guarantee he did it more than just, yeah, three, just times. The three times. He Greg, just got caught those. Exactly. <laughs> Gregory Gurren was uh, collared on obscenity charges Saturday night after a neighbor reported the suspect was masturbating outside his home. Uh, deputies who arrived on the scene found Gurren hiding in the backyard. Uh, he was hauled off to Jefferson Parish Correctional Center and booked on obscenity charges. At this point, the jail may be a bit of a second home for Gurn because Saturday night's arrest marked the third time in seven days for the <laughs> same charge, dude. Jeez, man. Get a grip. Oh, get this. Well, maybe on July 26th, he was arrested. Yeah, he's he's, <laughs> he's got, got a grip. grip. <laughs> That's not the issue. Uh, he was arrested. Uh, witnesses reported seeing him masturbating in a chair in his driveway. That, see that could Steve could do that. Yeah, he could do that. Uh, <laughs> Officer, so if he ever says, "Hey, man, my knees really mess. I can't do anything." You can go sit in your driveway and masturbate. Yeah, the twenty sixth. I guess he was drunk. No, oh, so he, I mean, he, he had an excuse. There's no alcohol yeah. involved. Come on. Yeah, and then on July 29th, he was arrested once again after a witness saw him uh, committing the same act under his carport. <laughs> what did he think? There were walls up or something? What uh, the hell? What's this? Maybe you just got to have the open air on it to make it more fun. I don't, I don't know. know. He's just airing it out or... I don't know. I, 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 who knows? Who knows? We're yeah, going to... Yeah. Leave that alone. Leave that one alone. <laughs> Kentucky Sheriff asked drug dealer to turn in his competition. Uh, Kentucky Sheriff has, has posted a flyer on its Facebook asking drug dealers to turn in their rivals. <laughs> nice. You know what that reminds me of? That Cheech and Chong bit. Hey, uh, when he's talking to Dark Sergeant Sedanko, and he says, oh, yeah. "Hey, uh, if you know somebody that sold you some bad stuff, uh, can you yeah, turn him in?" Billy sold me some bunk. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Could get a fly high. Here's oregano, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, multiple uh, media outlets report Franklin County uh, Sheriff's Office posted a flyer Monday afternoon uh, featuring an image of a marijuana leaf. It says, uh, "Is your drug dealer? Co- is your dealing competition costing you money?" <laughs> We offer a free service to help you eliminate your drug competition. That's a really good idea if you think about it. Oh, man. Come on. For weed? Come yeah. on. Do it for... Get the fucking heroin yeah. dealers. They'll get those assholes yeah, Leave the here. weed... The weed guys ain't doing no. nothing. To, no. Come All on. the weed guys do are doing is, uh, is spiking the sales of Doritos. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they need to just get off of that shit. Just legalize it and quit because it's... Decriminalize it, and it just makes it more fun. You know, the other night I watched Reefer Madness. Did you? Yeah, for about ten minutes, I thought Reefer. Did was it make bad. you quit? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fake Didn't cop. You? Fake cop pulls over real cop and gets real charge. <laughs> Nice. Authorities in northeastern Ohio says a man pretending to be a police officer was caught and charged because the driver targeted his bogus traffic stop to a real cop. Nice. Police in North Kingsville say an off-duty Youngstown officer was stopped Sunday night by the alleged impersonator who was driving a black sports utility vehicle with red and blue emergency-style lights. Nice. Yeah. Where, when the hell he got those? I don't know. I'd like to get those in here, those red and blue lights. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. It would be. Yeah. But then um, I'd be freaking out thinking that the unarmed man in civilian clothes repeatedly tried to convince the Youngstown officer that he was a real lawman, but eventually drove away. <laughs> they found him minutes later. Oh man, he, man, he he's been so charged busted. misdemeanor charge for impersonating an officer. The thing is, man, I wonder how many times he got away with it and what he did. Yeah. Yeah. So good thing they caught them to do. But well, back in the seventies, I mean, <laughs> all those people impersonating the village people—they'd have had a big problem. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, we impersonate. Hey, uh oh. Here's a here's a bad thing. Uh oh. Meth no. lab remnants found in Taco Bell in Iowa. No <laughs> Authorities wonder. say two men have been arrested after the remnants of a methamphetamine lab were found inside a Taco Bell in eastern Iowa. Cedar Rapids Police Department. Say officers found two men outside the restaurant early Tuesday. One identified himself as 
a Taco Bell employee. Where were they doing it? In the restroom? Or where? In the restaurant. Officers uh, entered How? the closed restaurant and found a meth lab uh, remnants in a utility area. Oh, okay. The men were identified as 31-year-old Christopher Matos and 56-year-old Kent Doobie. D-U-B-Y, Doobie. Doobie, yeah. hey, Doobie. You think at 56 he'd know better than to be selling meth. Yeah, or You're, making it. Yeah, Jesus. the arrest and charge with a conspiracy to manufacture methamphetamine. Uh, they face additional charges, including meth possession. So they didn't notice the smell. That they yeah. didn't smell any different. Taco cause... Bell says in a statement that one of the men was an employee who has now been fired. Uh, the restaurant will be sanitized before it reopens. <laughs> Well, they should do that at everyone. <laughs> Have you ever seen the bathrooms in one of those? Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, you, it's, it's like a meth lab. <laughs> and last but not least. <laughs> oh, no, we got to go to what state? Where are we going? We got to go to Florida. That's for right, something. Lake Worth, Florida. Chicken and beer make for a bad burglary. <laughs> chicken uh, and beer. A, fa- a Florida family tells police they came home to a to chicken bones and empty beer bottles scattered around their ch- kitchen floor, and the would-be robber passed out on their couch. <laughs> Palm Beach, Florida <laughs> reports deputies found 22-year-old Jacob Miller still asleep when they responded Monday to Lake Worth Home in South Florida. After taking Miller into custody, <laughs> deputies found numerous right. items of jewelry on the man that belonged to the family. Palm Beach Post reports that Miller told deputies he went into the home because he needed a place to stay but refused to answer any other questions. <laughs> Miller was charged with burglary and robbery. Records show uh, also that an open warrant was out for him in Texas. Nice. So nice. you know so, that once again he went in there hungry. Yeah, you don't don't, don't be robbing and doing shit like that on an empty stomach. Exactly. Jeez, that's what's gonna you're gonna get caught. Cause, yeah, because you're gonna either gonna eat there or you're gonna stop at a freaking fast food place on Taco the way Bell home and buy home some meth. And yeah, yeah, Taco Bell. Yeah, to, you can do all your shopping there. <laughs> <laughs> get some meth, get some tacos, burritos, yeah. and do- tacos, and then, then, and then rob them. And then go home and drop a chalupa. Yeah. <laughs> drop all right. That, that. Yeah, that, win- <laughs> that winds up the news today. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, I got offered some free tickets to go see Motley's final show. In, uh, oh, you going? No. No? I was going to go in just to meet Nita Strauss because oh, yeah. Alice was open, but I, I thought, cool. you know what, that's a long drive to have to listen to Motley Crue. Uh, yeah, so where I'm Milwaukee? A, yeah, that's not bad. Come on, it's Motley Crue, dude. Think yeah, about it. It's the Vince Neil. If and if if this man was singing, I might go. Yeah, Mr. Karabi. That's right. From his unplugged, why don't we play uh, that version of Hooligans Holiday? Coming up, we've got talking real metal news you can't use as rock and metal revival rolls on. Every 
more rock and metal news on Rock and Metal Revival. All right, metalheads, it's time for Talking Real Metal, news you can't use. Grab the children around the stereo speakers and make them listen up. Don't handcuff them, though. Yeah. That's not cool. No. Duct tape works Duct just tape as good. Works, yeah, or that uh, twist tie thing. That yeah, those yeah. ties. Yeah, yeah, those things, man. Those work good. Or a taser. <laughs> no, All right. Don't tase your don't, kids. Don't, don't tase me, bro. All right. <laughs> Jimmy Page on Led Zeppelin rehearsals following the 20s, uh, 2007 reunion. It became a total nightmare. I don't think those guys really get along that well anymore. No. Yeah. no I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, too but, bad, man. Yeah, it would have been That's an cool. end of an era. Yeah. All right, Slayer, profiled as part of the Smithsonian Institute Places of Musical Innovation exhibit. <laughs> oh, God, they're going to put them right next to the dinosaurs. Yeah, <laughs> and right in between Mozart and a dinosaur. Oh, jeez. Nikki Six doesn't... Now I feel fucking old. Do you? Holy crap, yeah. When, Nick... you, when you got Slayer going into the Smithsonian, <laughs> yeah. It's like, wow, man. It's not cool anymore. Metal ain't cool anymore. <laughs> Metal what is happened? cool. Don't what worry happened? about it. Nikki Six doesn't have any second thoughts about retiring Motley Crue from the road. Thank God. Does that mean they're going to still record? No. He's just retiring them from the road. I think I think six a.m. is a yeah is gonna take next up vehicle. And you know what, dude? I really liked Motley Crue in the younger days, but now that yeah, it's now re- that they're Vince old, Vince is yeah. an idiot. Yeah. Sebastian Bach, uh, if I'm hard to get along with, it's usually because I think something sucks. <laughs> well. Okay. That's probably about true. You know what? He was so cool when we had him on the show that time. Yeah. we got to get and him back. And then he stood us up a couple times. No, it was the publicist that sure, fucked us on that one. Sure, it was. Jakey Lee's Red Dragon Cartel rejoined by singer Darren James Smith. He's back. i got to talk to Anthony and find out if that's, that's just... That's because they got a geek fucking tour of Japan book, and he's like... Cha-ching, now I can yeah. make money if yeah. I'm back with them. Oh, hey, yeah. I'll come sing with you. Rat basis uh, to perform band classics with newly launched Rats Juan Crusier. <laughs> Crusier, is that his name? Crusier? Crusier, yeah. Uh, project, like yeah. And you know what? And it's it's like, just... You're the bass player. Yeah, you, you helped write the fucking songs, but you're the bass player, dude. Really? You know, that would be, and that's the same that would be thing like if John drummer. Paul Jones came out as Led Zeppelin. Yeah, or... Yeah, I mean, Jimmy Page could do it, but yeah, jump up. I mean, come on. Lita Ford on the runways. We were just teenage girls with raging hormones. I'd like to know him back then. Yeah, when's that book coming out? They keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. I think it's because she didn't get the cowbell joke. They're still thinking still She's still pissed off about that. Yeah. All right, hey, uh, you know what? I'm starting to like this guy more and more. I like Stone Sour. I'm not a huge Slipknot fan. Slipknot's okay. Yeah. My wife loves him, but... Slipknot's Corey Taylor says younger metal fans don't care about the roots of the genre, and that's true. And that's why they have no clue. That's yeah. why they like this. <laughs> yeah. Crap. That was really good. Have you ever Thanks. thought about I'm, getting a band? I'm, I've thought about it because right. it doesn't take much talent. Hey, to one do of your that. favorite band, uh, Dream Theater's James Labrie, illegal music downloading is no different than stealing groceries. Well, it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier, and you don't right. have to. When you're stealing groceries, like you have to put stuff in your pants and stuff. You don't like have that, to do like that. Like that James music. Addiction video, Ben caught stealing when yeah. he goes in with yeah yeah. yeah and you okay. put all that stuff. Yeah. In. You got to find places to put that put stuff. that stuff. Yeah, you know, with mu- with download music, you, you already got a place to put. And it. Nobody's gonna go. Hey, yeah, it's not that, taking up a lot. Is that of a space. chuck roast in your pants? No, yeah. oh, never mind. <laughs> Y and T it's a tube steak. Yeah. <laughs> y and T frontman Dave Manchetti's signature wines to be unveiled next week. We should get some of those. Maybe do a show drinking wine. Yeah, because we're yeah we're not stupid fun. enough. Sammy Hagar to develop global lifestyle brand called Sammy's Island. <laughs> Sammy, he's been doing the Paul Stanley thing. thing yeah. yeah, Joe Satriani lands highest U.S. chart position of thirty-year career with Shockwave Supernova for an instrumental album. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty high. that's pretty high. Yeah, Germans Vock and Open Air Festival struggles to break even. That's sad, man. How? Man, did you see did you see those yeah. videos I just sent you? Yeah. The thing with uh T- Sabotage and TSO. TSO that was that awesome. was badass. Yeah. Side by side in, yeah. the, in the middle of the song switching from one band singing it to the other yeah. and it's fucking cool. Um hey, Miley Cyrus joined Steel Panther on stage for a Def Leppard cover. I wonder yeah. if she showed her tits. Ah, uh, she probably, probably did. twerked. Right. She right twerked up on uh, Lexi. Yeah. And he, original ACDC singer Dave Evans to write book about his time with the band. That'll be a <laughs> short story. He wrote the original yeah. on a fucking napkin. <laughs> 
Come oh. on, dude. You didn't do shit with that band, and no. you're still, I'm the original singer. Yeah, they had you for, what, a year? Yeah. And they didn't do nothing. <laughs> so like... <laughs> uh, that winds up uh, oh, yeah. talking real metal. Since we did talk about Steel Panther, and they uh, closed down the whiskey. They but the did? whiskey? No, the... Uh, the hot, hard, the hard, hard rock, or House of Blues? House of Blues, something. yeah, yeah. They closed something. that down uh, out on uh, Sunset. Sunset, Street. yep. And we are going to. Uh, what do you say we play something from them? Sure. How about just like Tiger Woods? Sure. It's yeah, like you, sports. You, you said that to me the too. other day when I was driving that Buick. Yeah, yeah. Was, you drive. It's like you look like Tiger Woods. Thank man. you. Banging it like Tiger Woods. <laughs> Hey, what's up? This is Michael Starr from the greatest band, Steel Panther, out of Los Angeles, California. You're listening to Rock and Metal Revival. Just 